if you're moving rapidly, you're moving quickly, the wind is blowing, you're probably gonna wanna try salted baits, baits that are gonna sink because as you're pulling along, these baits will stay up. When it's like today and there's very little wind, you want neutrally buoyant baits, so baits that don't have salt in them. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna nose hook. And here I've got a set the hook KO minnow. Now this minnow obviously looks exactly like what they're feeding on, which is smelt. So we're gonna nose hook this. Now the difference between the two, it's pretty simple. Wacky rigging, you hook it right in the middle. It's great for pulsing the bait, shaking it when you're moving along. When it's very still and you wanna fish vertical, you wanna nose hook your baits and use a bait like this. Now the technique of drop shotting is fairly basic and the setup is very basic. You have a weight on the bottom, fluorocarbon line, and a small hook. And for a hook right now, I've got a one aught Eagle Claw Wacky Rig hook. So by doing this setup, all you're gonna be looking to do is have the proper rod, reel, and line combination. And that's what's really important when it comes to drop shotting. And as always, we're gonna go through that with you. We're using a spinning rod that's six feet, 10 inches long, medium power, extra fast action. Now you want extra fast for drop shotting because you can shake the bait very subtly with the tip of the rod and get a lot of backbone to set the hook on them. Now, when it comes to the reel, I'm using a 3,000 size reel. And the reason I'm going with a bigger reel is because I'm using straight fluorocarbon. So this fluorocarbon here is an eight pound main line, but because of the stiffer properties of fluorocarbon, I go with the bigger reel so I can get more on there and have a larger loop and you get less blow off on your reel. So that whole setup together with your rod, reel, fluorocarbon line, you get the right hook and weight, it's just a matter of finding the fish. And when they're there, you put that bait in front of them, they're gonna eat it. Got him. All right, wait. Oh, where's he going? He's going under the boat. Trying to run away. Decent looking fish. Another decent fish on the drop shot. And again, that fish was just perfectly vertical in 29 feet of water. And the nice thing is, you really don't have to overwork your baits when you're using something that looks like the baits we're using today. These baits move very easily with very little motion. And that fish had no problem just coming up and just pumping that rod straight down. To order WFN, contact your TV service provider today. WFN, it's a great day for fishing.